Okay guys, so today I want to talk about uh, failing either the US Emily uh, Step 1 or the CK exam. And I'm going to make a video on uh, the CS later, but uh, for now I kind of want to touch on because it's a topic that I've kind of, uh, I know a, a few people unfortunately have fallen to that. So I kind of want to make a video just in case anyone else that I don't know um, has uh, faced or encountered this problem. So as I said previously, the board scores that you get, okay, the scores on either uh, USMLEs, um, they really open up a lot of doors. And also, unfortunately, they can close a lot of doors. And all that really depends on the number that you get, the score that you get. And it's a tough exam. All the exams are tough. And there's not really an easy easy solution or, or kind of anything that, that can really change the past. Uh, so, unfortunately, you kind of have to live with it. Things are definitely going to get rocky for matching and residency and whatnot, but that's not to say that it's impossible. Nothing's impossible, okay? Now, if somebody fails the US Emily Step 1, the only solution for that is to retake it. Same goes for the CK. Now, the only difference is timing, okay? If somebody fails the... Uh, step one exam a lot of schools don't let you start your clinical rotations and uh, with that said you can take that time to really kind of hone in on what went wrong whether that be study skills foundational knowledge whatever it is you got to hone in on it and you've got to absolutely destroy it the second time around okay that way you can show that there's a big discrepancy and the first time around something happened wasn't your day whatever okay at least you have a solid score to back you up but that to show that you know it was just a bad day or something okay with that said though a lot of residencies might look at that as a huge negative there's no way around that because some of the higher tier residencies uh i shouldn't say higher tier but um some of the more competitive residencies like surgery, anesthesia, all those, they take very competitive applicants. These are people that scored a lot better on their exams or they had good networking skills, whatever, you know. Uh, those doors might be shut. They're not impossible to get again. Like I said, you got to really grind in your clinical rotations and get to know the right people, letters, and, and just work hard, okay? But regardless, so... What you're going to do is if you failed your step one, you're going to retake the exam after you have adequate time to prepare and study hard for it, fix whatever the problem was and, and just and just get it over with. OK, and then start your clinicals, get in your clinicals and just hustle. You know, you got to get to know the program director. You got to get to know the residents really well. You got to get those letters erect, all that. And also uh, try to. Um, uh, do some rotations at some pre-match programs uh, So so that's that's really important. Okay now If somebody fails the CK exam So this the CK exam that's when things get a little bit interesting and I Someone one of the program directors that I um, spoke with and I, that I, I am Somewhat friends with I, I guess you can say he told me that uh, if, a, if a student kind of does borderline on their step one exam, statistics show that your CK will also be borderline. Okay, it's, it's a good predictor. Your step one is a decent predictor of a range where you'll hit on the CK if things kind of don't change for the, for the better. And so, during your time during the clinicals, you like I said, you, you're gonna be hustling, okay? You're gonna be a madman or a mad woman, and you gotta study hard. You know, the again, the exam's a little bit different. It, it kind of asks more management type questions, if I recall. But um, you know, you, you gotta do well. Now, if 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 things you know get rocky and you know you fail that exam again. They, they increase these minimum marks all the time. 
and I think right now it's I believe it's a 209 or something like that as a minimum mark so if somebody gets into some trouble with the the CK and they don't pass it you know I actually know somebody that missed it by just the point it's devastating okay and you know you can't help but feel bad in that situation and what happens is it kind of you have to reevaluate your position and say you already apply for the residency uh, in September 15th I believe is the first day that kind of the whole process gets rolling and it goes all the way past the holidays um, if, if you fail the exam and you get your score back kind of late like say you get your score back in um, October okay you spent all summer studying and you take the exam late August or you know early September in hopes that you'll get your exam result back in before you apply so you have a complete package some people do that and uh, those people uh, if they fail, then you're going to be in a, a little bit of a hurt there because you have to reevaluate. Should I should I match this year? Am, am I going to match? Am I going to be able to retake the exam in time and kind of uh, hope that I get some more interviews? You know, am I going to be eligible for the SOAP? Um, these are all things that you have to consider. And I think... Failing the CK exam is a little bit harder in some respects because the timing of things can be a little interesting. So you have to kind of evaluate yourself that should I retake the exam or should I kind of just maybe sit out this year and study hard and then retake it but just again do extremely well on it. And then, you know, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what you can do if you don't match, okay? If, if, if someone doesn't match, there are some options that you can do to kind of sustain your life because at that point in time, you're already like in like four or $500,000 in debt. So you kind of got to get things um, a little rolling. So, so anyway, there's, there's some things that you can do and I'll make another video uh, a little bit later to touch on that. So... Regardless, the only way around failure uh, is to try and try again. And a saying that I really like is it, climbing a mountain to success, you can't really climb the mountain with smooth sides. There's going to be rough patches. There's going to be little nooks, little crannies. And not everyone has, you know, a straight path. You know, everyone's going to go different ways. But eventually, if your goal is to get into clinical medicine, then you need to get a residency. And the only way to get that is by passing these exams and hopefully you know you can show yourself as as a, as a person as a complete package and hopefully you get that okay so good luck to you if you guys are in that situation it's not impossible you have to apply smart and you have to do well um, when you retake the tests okay and uh, if you have any questions always reach out to me I'll try my best to get back to you I'm a little busy but I'll try my best to get back uh, with any questions. All right. As always, good luck and study hard. All right.